So that's a good question. I think that uh, the field of AI is moving also into the prediction of uh, light chain amyloidosis. The problem that we are facing is that uh, light chain amyloidosis, like other amyloidosis syndromes, are diagnosed relatively late in the disease course because of the non-specific nature of the symptoms that patients uh, present with and the fact that the, this is a rare disease. So this is where we can utilize and uh, harness the use of computer brain to actually notify the physicians that uh, there might be a possibility of, uh, uh, of amyloidosis in the patient that they are evaluating using the uh, uh, data recorded in the electronic uh, health records. So what we did is we actually looked at patients that are at risk of developing uh, light gene amyloidosis, and this is the uh, monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, and UH, um, and patients with small during multiple myeloma. And we tried to using a very um, simple variables that are available um, everywhere. Those are around 20 variables, uh, including clinical features, demographics, and laboratory data to see if we can distinguish by using those simple data, using the uh, computer power to tell if a patient has light chain amyloidosis versus the um, um, precursor disease that uh, put the patient at risk, MGS and smoldering multiple myeloma. And we were very excited to learn that actually we can separate very nicely um, uh, and light chain amyloidosis using uh, 20 or 21 clinical variables in patients with MGS and smoldering. And now we are looking at implementing that in a programmatic trial to see if it really can enhance um, the uh, recognition, earlier recognition of uh, light chain amyloidosis. I must say that if since, since it's a rare disease and we're starting with a target population, our ability to predict for light chain amyloidosis will increase and that will make the possibility of this tool more feasible for uh, physicians.